Hi, I'm Craig. Stay tuned for my comments after the video. You've heard the legends. Alligators and sewers? Stalkers with hooks? But now... <coughs> the world's scariest stories are coming to life. Stay away from Burnett's Hollow to some prankster with a hook hand. Who is that? And the Zielinskis are in for the fight of their lives. Don't scare me like that. On a special Halloween episode. <coughs> Coming up next on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the TV show. Why aren't the kids interested in my inventions anymore? Mm, once shrunken, twice shy. Okay, okay, but it is a good one. The Zelinsky Scanocaster. Perfect for Halloween. Scanocaster? Looks dangerous. Like a ray gun. It's not a ray gun, it's a, it's a scanner. See, you... <laughs> You, you put uh, any book right right here beneath the... Uh, Gun barrel? Scanner nose. And long story short, it scans in text, converts the narrative into tangible holograms, and then projects them into 4D images. And its connection to Halloween is... Stories come to life. I could scan in a bunch of these scary books. Here we got The Headless Horseman from Stephen King. Martha Stewart's oh, living. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, come on, honey. Our house will be the most phantasmagoric trick-or-treat spot on the block this year. Oh, honey. Well, take a look at this one book on urban myths. Oh. See, I, I could scan them in. Oh, alligators and sewers? Stalkers with hooks? Dead hitchhikers? Uh, charming. Oh. Honey, I love your inventions, but let's postpone testing this one until you find a book with fuzzy bunnies in it. If these images are just a little too scary for kids. What if we just use it on bad kids? No. Oh. No. Lock the door. Right up. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is brought to you by Snickers. Not going anywhere for a while? Grab a Snickers. Hungry? Why wait? And by 1-800-COLLECT. The easy way to save. Halloween's scariest stories are coming to life. Who is that? On Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the TV show. When ninjas invade Matheson... You must surrender! Ninjas in Matheson? It's up to Wayne to save the town. You are the chosen one. But first, he must master the ancient arts. Now you are learning. No, I'm hemorrhaging. Now everyone is kung fu fighting. <laughs> Next week on Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the TV show. We just watched a clip from the Halloween episode of the Disney syndicated TV show, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I also included the show's teaser, bumpers, next week's preview, and end credits to give you a sense of what it was like viewing the show when it originally aired back in 1998. 
There are a lot of animated series based on Disney animated films, but Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the series, is one of the few live-action TV shows based on a Disney film. In the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids timeline, it takes place after the first movie, but before the second. The other live-action series based on Disney films include two short-lived series in 1983, Herbie the Love Bug, based on the Herbie movies, and Gunshy, based on the Apple Dumpling Gang, plus some more recent Disney Plus series like High School Musical the Series, Turner and Hooch, and The Santa Clauses, based on Tim Allen's Santa Claus films. As far as I've been able to tell, though, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the series, was the only one that was broadcast in first-run syndication. Since it was syndicated, the show was broadcast on a variety of stations and cable channels across the country. The show starred Peter Scolari of Bosom Buddies and Newhart fame, playing the role of Wayne Zielinski. Wayne Zielinski was played by Rick Moranis in the films. It lasted for three seasons with a total of 66 episodes. After its run in syndication, it ran on the Disney Channel from 2001 to 2006 and on the Hub Network from 2010 until 2013. I don't know why it hasn't made its way to Disney Plus yet. The special effects are a bit cheesy and really look like they're from the 1990s, but they're no worse than some of the cheesy effects I've seen on some old Disney Channel kids shows from that same time. This video is from the second season. The title of the episode was Honey, Let's Trick or Treat, and it's one of the show's Halloween episodes. This particular episode was directed by Stuart Gordon, one of the original film's creators and an executive producer of Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. The show arguably had two Halloween episodes, this one and another one from the first season entitled Honey, I'm Haunted. All the episodes start with the word honey. This video clip comes from the original broadcast in Dayton, Ohio on the MVC cable channel. MVC stands for Miami Valley Channel, and it was run by WHIO TV7. At the time, the MVC was also a UPN network affiliate. UPN was the United Paramount Network, which lasted from 1995 to 2006. Independent TV stations and small networks like UPN and the WB were the main home for syndicated shows like this in the late 90s and early 2000s. As far as the show goes, I think they did a really good job capturing the spirit of the original film. In my opinion, the casting is a couple levels above the casting for a typical Disney Channel show. And as you could tell from the opening credit sequence, many of the episodes appear to be a bit ludicrous, but it's all in fun. After all, just like the films, the premise of the show is that Wayne Zielinski's inventions are often unpredictable and things go awry. I didn't watch this show when it was on, and after watching this episode, I kind of feel like I may have missed out. I wish they would put this on Disney+. Plus. I'd probably watch it. Well, those are my comments for this video. If you like these retro videos, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. All these things really help the channel. Keep watching for more retro videos like this and other retro videos like Retro Talk. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by Stockagogo.com, Stock Photos.